Alright guys, time for my review of Season 2 of Voltron Legendary Defender. Now, um, this show is awesome, and I w even though the show's been out for like, almost like a full month, like a month and a half, I'm not gonna spoil anything, so, well, actually I am gonna spoil stuff, let me rephrase that, I am gonna spoil stuff. Um, so if you don't want to be spoiled, just back out now, if you haven't seen the whole series, the whole se the season thus far, um, then you can back out now, and we'll come back, and you know, you can come back after watching the rest of the season, and whatnot. All I will say is that this was awesome. If you really enjoyed Vol if you really enjoy Voltron and the creative team, of course, behind Avatar and Legend of Korra, then give this a shot. Um, tons of fun. So, yeah. Um, so let's move on to the spoilers. I'll give you guys a couple seconds to back out. Okay, if you're still here, I'm guessing you want to be spoiled, or you've already seen the show. Uh, this was awesome, and I'm looking forward to Season 3. The whole, this felt more like a consecutive, like one, like you could put all of season two into one film and it would all feel connected. Whereas with season three, it felt a little more, with season three, it felt a little more like episodic. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, in season two, it's a little more connected. Even, there was no, even Space Mall, which I thought was going to be like a dumb lagging episode, like a filler. No, there's some shit between um, Shiro and, and the Black Lion, because that's a big thing here is, you know, Zarkon has his connection to the Black Lion, and they're on the run. And we also have a, a new ally, the this group of Galra, who are called the Blade of Marmora. Which, by the way, their costumes look like a cool fusion between Assassin's Creed and the Quarian uniforms from Mass Effect. I'm just saying, like, I couldn't I could look at that without going, Oh man, that'd be cool if Assassin's Creed tally. That'd be great. Anyway, I'm off topic. <laughs> Anywho... So that was really cool to see the Blade of Marmora, and we get more- this felt more like a Keith-centric season, really. Um, because Keith gets a lot of development here, and he's finding it- he's found out that his mother is Galra? Yeah. And I'm wondering how much Galra is in him, because, yeah, he looks more human than Galra, so maybe- maybe they'll exp I'm hoping they'll explain it further on. And I like the stuff with, with Alora because they could have easily done the CW route of just going, Alora hates you for the whole season and then forgives you, and then you do something that she doesn't like and it makes it about her, and then she, you know, hate continues hating you until season finale where she just decides, oh, I like you again now. Have you got, have I ever mentioned to you guys that I really just fucking hate the CW, DC CW universe lately? Has that not been a thing? I should make that a thing again. Starting now. Anyway, <laughs> getting back to awesome stuff, they go with Alora, and Alora, you know, she she's like, I she she confronts Keith, and she says, "Look, I wanted to hate you, but yeah, you're the you're a paladin. You've proved yourself. It's not who you are. You've proved yourself through your character, not through your bloodlines of who you are. And what I know you are is a go is you know is a great hero and a great paladin." I'm like, ah, oh, that's great. Hug it out, and they do, and it's awesome. And I'm pretty sure a lot of Shiro Keith shippers or Shiro Alora shippers are going, oh man, that ship is sailing, isn't it? <laughs> that ship just left the harbor, didn't it? Although the cl the battleship known as the SS the SS Clance, yeah, the uh, <laughs> the uh, SS Clance is still a battleship. <laughs> um. That thing's still sailing. Although they don't do a lot of Clant stuff in here. Or, well, there's that moment in the elevator, but, uh... <laughs> anyway. Um... Where was that? <laughs> yeah, well, there's a good Clant's moment in the elevator scene, but I digress. Anywho. So, the season starts out with everyone getting back together after, Zar after Hagar poisoned the wormhole and sent everyone e every which way, but they got that cleared up pretty fast. Um, we then move on to them trying to figure out what the connect, you know, how to stop Zarkon from keep finding them, and I'm like, and, and they spend like three episodes going, how are they doing this? How are they doing this? I'm like, it's the Black Lion! And then Shiro goes, it's gotta be the Black Lion. I'm like, thank you! That should have been like the first choice, rather than Alora saying, it's me, or Keith going, it's me. I'm like, it's neither of you. Ugh. Although the episode um, Space Mall, there are some funny moments, and I love the um, I love Hunk basically being Gordon Ramsay. That was hilarious. Um, but yeah, the stuff with uh, Shiro in you know having this mental battle with Zarkon that was awesome. 
Uh, Zarkon himself, he went total Ahab in this season, didn't he? He went just total balls-to-the-wall Ahab with no fucks given of what happens next. The Blade of Marmora stuff is also pretty epic, and again, we see more of Keith's backstory. I'm wondering how that's gonna how that's gonna play out next season, because yeah, Keith, you know, Shiro is gone, and we don't know where he went. He could have gone back in time. He could have gone to the bathroom in the Lion and then got stuck, or you know, he's just like peace out, something like that. So now they're like, you know, Zarkon isn't really dead. It looks like he's, you know, just. <laughs> in hibernation, or, or in a coma, really. So now Hagar's like, get me Prince Lotor. And if you know who Lotor is, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to talk about villains, yeah, Lotor was probably more scarier than Zarkon at times, especially in the uncut, sh um, in the uncut episodes of Voltron, in the original anime of Voltron. But, yeah, the big thing with, uh, Lotor was that he had the ma- he had a major hard-on for Alora. And that was kind of his big thing, was that he wanted Alora as his queen. Um, so I'm wondering if, when we get to season three, is that if there'll be some connection between Lotor and Alora. Like, maybe in the past, Lotor and Alora were betrothed between Elthor, you know, between Elthor and Zarkon. But she said no, Elthor backed her up on that, and that kind of really crushed him. Or if Lotor's a little younger... I'm hoping that, you know, he's not totally lovesick. I'm because again, Lotor could be terrifying, but he always he had this like pathological obsession with Alora, much like how Zarkon in this series just had this obsession with the Black Lion. So I'm hoping in the next season, you know, when they bring in Lotor, I'm hoping for that he does have this connection to Alora, but it's not like the driving thing behind him. It is it's more like I'm going to s destroy these guys who ki who nearly killed my father and put my entire empire that I was supposed to rule in shame. I really want to see him be like um, a fusion between uh, like Thrawn and Azula. I want to see like Lotor be like a, a mix of Thrawn. That's my idea of how I would do Lotor in this series, is make him a combination of uh, like the cunning and just drive and just all around physical capabilities of Azula as well as the mental capacity and just the sheer manipulation and um, tactical mind of Thrawn, and just put those together, and that would be my that would be my ideal Lotor, Lotor right there. Um, but anyway, uh, we also find out that Hagar is Altaian, and I'm wondering how that's going to play out because her magic doesn't affect Laura, uh, Laura so that's going to be another thing to play with. Uh, Shiro's gone; we don't know where he is, but I'm hoping for more stuff of what hap of why he has the Winter Soldier arm. <laughs> Hopefully they'll go... Because they didn't really bring that up in this season at all, did they? No, I don't think they did. So, that was... Um, that was kind of, you know, that was kind of disheartening. But maybe they'll go into it in Season 3. But yeah, the big the big two characters for this was Keith and Shiro. Those were... Keith, probably more than Shiro. Um, but those were the two big characters for this season to, that uh, really got the most developed... And Alora, too, I should say. But I feel like Keith the most. Anyway. Um, all in all, this was a really fun season, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to try to check out um, Troll Hunters next, because, yeah, a lot. this is the only Netflix anima animated show, I should, I should say. The only animated Netflix show I'm watching. Um, but I'm going to try... Because a lot of them, even the Kong show, I didn't like. Uh, I'm going to try out... Um, Troll Hunters next. I've heard nothing but good things, and also it, it was the last thing, one of the last things Anton Yelchin did before he tragically passed away. But from what I understand, Del Toro did say that um, Ant that Anton Yelchin did do his um, lines for season two before he tragically passed on. So yeah, I'm gonna check that out because I've heard really good things from that, and yeah. I ended, you know, it, it's sadly the last thing Anton did in his life, as well as Green Green Room, and um, Star Trek. Why did I forget Star Trek Beyond? I for, I remembered Green Room, but not Star Trek Beyond. What the hell? Anyway, so yeah, so so that'll probably be the next thing I'll check out is Troll Hunters. You know, Troll Hunters, and you know, maybe I'll review that. Who knows? But anyway, um. 
yeah, all in all, Voltron Season 2, fuck yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. So you guys tell me, what did you guys think of Voltron Season 2? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Also, what did you guys think of, you know, what do you guys think of how Lotor is going to be in the next season? And where do you, and what do you think is going to be the fate of Shiro, as well as, you know, what's the family past for Keith? Just comment below, let me know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.